In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure protective ports on the Netgear switch. And you would do this by going to the security page and going to traffic control. Before we do that, let's do a new addition to our network topology by plugging in another user computer into, let's say, port 4 on our core switch. And that computer, which is right here, will be a Windows computer, a Windows 7 computer which means that we need to go ahead and configure that switch port and to put that into VLAN 101. And we also need to make sure that we enable that port since we have disabled all of our unused ports. And for testing, let's go to user computer number one, which is this computer right here, plugged into port number two. So let's go to that computer right now and let's confirm that we're able to ping the other user computer which is 101.101 .101, and that is pingable. Vice versa, we can go to user computer number two, which is plugged into port number four and confirm that we can ping the other user computer, which is 100 and we can. So we have working connectivity with these two computers, part of the user network. And that leads us into our traffic security or traffic control that we can configure on the Netgear switch. And here you can set up Mac filtering, storm control, port security, and protected ports. And in this particular video, I want to talk specifically about protected ports. So what is protected ports? So let's say that you have a environment where you have computers that are in the same VLAN. Well, the question is, how do you filter traffic between hosts in the same VLAN? Now, access control lists are typically used for restricting traffic between different VLANs, which we showed you in a different video topic. But what about filtering traffic between hosts in the same VLAN? And that's where protected ports come to play. Therefore, in our environment, let's say that we want to prevent our two user computers from communicating together, even though they are part of the same broadcast domain, but they were able to access other devices which in this case would be the internet because the guest computer still has this access control list filtering traffic to the user network and the management network. So what we wanna do is to set port number two and port number four to be protected ports. And that means that any port that is a protected port, they cannot talk to each other. All other ports, which are treated as unprotected ports, they will be able to communicate with in this case would be the internet. And that's pretty much it. So for testing, let's go ahead and minimize this. And let's go to our user computer, number one, and let's run two ping tests. One will be out to the internet. There we are. And another one will be pinging the other user computer. So open up a new terminal window. And we're gonna ping the other user computer at 101. So once we apply these changes, then our ping to the internet should continue to work, but we should be blocked or filtered to the other user computer. Okay, so with that all discussed, let's move this aside and let's make port two a protected port and port four a protected port. That's it. Once we're done, go ahead and apply our changes. And if I move back our user computer, our ping to the internet is still running. It's based on the sequence number, by the way that that's increasing for the internet, but our pings to the other computer has stopped working. If I go back to the other user computer, let's see if we are able to ping the user computer now. And we are not. Destination host unreachable. But we should be able to ping the internet. And we can. And that's pretty much it. So that is how you can set up protective ports on the Netgear switch if you want to filter traffic with hosts in the same VLAN. 